Listen, that demon is about to leave your life because purpose is calling. There's going to be major deliverance. Let me say that again. I said that demon is about to leave your life because purpose is calling. There's going to be major deliverance. So what am I talking about, you guys? I'm talking about that spirit. There's a spirit in, 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 in you guys that are chosen, right? There's a certain spirit which is really, 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 really like it's really it really got you bound to the point where you can't control this thing or you just keep doing it and this thing makes you feel so bad after you do it and but you keep on doing it and then you repent and you come back to the Lord and you may do good for a little while and then you go back to that thing and then you repent and then you go back like it's a cycle back and forth it's a cycle back and forth but that demon is about to leave your life purpose is calling there's going to be major deliverance. And let me tell you, the way that you're bound now, now I'm not talking about somebody that has a little struggle every now and then. I might battle with this or, you know, I might battle with that. I might go a couple of months. And I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the one that cannot seem to control that spirit that is causing you to fall time and time and time and time and time and time again. That's why God is going to do major deliverance. Like you need major deliverance because there comes a point, child of God, when purpose begins to call. And because you are chosen, chosen, chosen now, chosen, not called, but you're chosen, right? So many of you guys, there's, there's a sea of people. Oh, I like this example. There's a sea of people right here, right? So these people are called, but God takes you, Brother Jay Glizzy, and he sits you to the side and he begins to work on you. You are chosen for a, sp a special thing that God wants to do in your life. There's a place that God has for you, but you can't get there while you're battling with this devil, right? You can't get there while you're battling with this devil. So you guys that have been in such a stronghold and you've been bound and you've been just struggling and battling with this thing for such a long time because purpose is calling because you're chosen of the Lord, right? Because there needs to be major deliverance. God is going to do what he has to do. You guys, God is going to do what he has to do. And, um, he has to bring you guys to another level. Because, like I said, that devil is keeping you from moving forward. But God is using that situation also somehow to grow your faith, to show you to trust him. Like he's using that somehow. He could even be using it like, okay, you want to play with sin? Let me let you, I'm going to let the devil keep you bound for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you have to know that in that place, you're also learning lessons. You're also learning lessons. But there does come a time, child of God, when people need what it is that God placed inside of you. God placed something inside of you and he placed this thing inside of you, but there's people that may need it. And let me tell you this, right? Please, you got to listen at this right here. Do not look at your life right now. Don't look at it right now. I'm telling you, this is a mistake and this is what the enemy uses, right? Do not look at your life right now. Yeah, maybe you battling, maybe you struggling. Maybe you got problems with drugs. Maybe you got problems with pornography. Maybe you alcoholism. Like whatever the thing is, when you're chosen, you guys, it's like you cannot even choose to not do the will of God, right? It's preordained or, or predestined before the foundations of the world. He picked you. He picked you, handpicked you and set you up for an assignment, something specific that he has to do. Even if you're not living right, even if you don't know God yet, there comes a point. I'm telling you, let me tell you guys, right? Let me tell you, man. Oh, my God. I was bad off. I was bad off. I was bad off now. I was in and out the streets. I was on drugs real bad. You know, I would go to church with liquor, pot, liquor bottle in my pocket. You know, as soon as I get out of church, open up a beer. You know, then I would go to the club. This is crazy because I would go to the club on Saturday and the club closed about six. So I would go straight to church from the club. Drunk. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, so it looks as though, and then I'm bad on drugs, family members, people just giving up on you. It's like, nobody think that you're going to make that. Like you're going to get over that. It looked like your situation is hopeless. It's like everybody are, it can't believe that you're going to change because they see your behavior right now. They see what you're going through, that what you're doing right now. They don't see what's coming in the future. Let me tell you, if somebody would have told me that I would be doing anything like this, you see what I'm saying? Like, 
it's like I, I, I can't believe, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have never believed it. I never believed, would have never believed it. But God got a way of doing things, you guys. So every person that doubted and thought that, you know, I would never get it together or it's like God got a way of doing it and you do not see it. I didn't see a way like God got a way of doing it, child of God. He got to deliver you from some stuff, remove you from some places and some people and deliver you from some things. Like, let me tell you this, right? When I was battling with alcohol really, 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 really bad, really bad now. I was battling with alcohol really bad, right? And then I would try to live right. And then I would go back to sin, try to live right, go back to sin. Like it was a cycle. Somehow that's how a lot of you guys are. And you're going through kind of what I went through. And um, so what happened was one day I just woke up like out of the blue. I went to get a beer. I didn't even want it. I didn't even want it now. I didn't want it. But I had been drinking a night before, but I wake up and I want a beer and I don't want a beer. So I go and try to drink it. It's just disgusting. So I pour it down the thing. And then I went back later to go get a beer. Another beer is disgusting. I just pour it out. But what that was, child of God, that was major deliverance. But why? It's because purpose began to call, right? Meaning there's people that are waiting on you. So it's like... If God doesn't begin to work on you, these people that are waiting on you, God ain't going to let the devil just keep you bound, but for so long, because God is truly in control. God would only let the devil do what it is that God will only let the devil do. God will tell, it's, it's enough, 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 enough. Let him go. Enough, enough is enough, Satan. You let him go because purpose begins to call. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying, Right? So God got to begin to work on you guys. Many of you guys, God got to begin to work on you. Some of you guys, God is already working on you, right? But there's going to be major deliverance. Purpose is calling. Many of you guys have to go up. Many of you guys have to go to the next level, right? You got to go higher in the things of God. Many of you guys, you're going to start uh, reading the Bible. Like you're going to start praying. Like things are just going to start changing and you're going to be like, wow. Now, these are for the chosen ones I'm speaking to, right? But things are going to begin to change in your life just like you're going to have interest from nowhere. You're not going to want to go outside anymore. People are going to want to call you, come over. You ain't going to want no company. You're going to enjoy the presence of God. Like, it's just going to change so quick. It's like God is really working on you quick, quick, quick. So now that the devil has left you alone, like that demon, this is what I'm saying. The demon that's been attacking you so hard right now, so, so hard. This one that you cannot seem to overcome. That devil is about to leave your life. And he's acting up because he knows that God is about to kick him out of your life, right? So I got a scripture, you guys, for you guys that may doubt or may think that, oh, God ain't going to use me. Or God can't use me. Or look at my situation now, right? This is Ezekiel 36. I'm going to read two verses, 25 through 27. It says, then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean, right? Your filth will be washed away. And you will no longer worship idols. And I will give you a new heart. Right? And I will put a new spirit in you. Right? Because the spirit that you have now is not willing. Right? The heart that you have now is, 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 is disobedient. Right? So God says, I have to put a new spirit in you. I got to give you a new heart. I will take out your stony heart, that stubborn heart, and I will give you a tender heart, one that responds to my commands. I will put my spirit in you. So that you will follow my decrees and be careful to do my regulations. So you're going to be you're going to be now uh, uh, obeying the Lord. Once He begins to, this is what I'm saying. Many of you guys are going through that, and that's why these attacks are coming the way that they are from the enemy, right? But God is really working on you guys. God is about to really work on you guys, and it's gonna be it's gonna be like a life changing thing, right? So you have to just know and believe God. Don't look at your situation right now, please, because that's that's the trick of the enemy to keep you looking at how you're doing now. Makes you think that you can never, you know, ever change. That's not the truth, y'all. I felt the same way. It's like you got to listen at my story. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like that. But yeah, you guys, just know that major deliverance is coming into your life. Major deliverance is going to come into your life, right? Because purpose is calling. Purpose is calling. There's a place for you. Purpose is calling, right? So, child of God, just know that God got you and you're going to be all right. All right? Be blessed.